Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more Masterwork Dwarf Fortress, Season 9, Part 9 of the Fortress of Eastern Dread. Much dread. <laughs> Much dread for our enemies that have to scale our impenetrable adamantium walls and uh, dodge our giant tree trunk ballista bolts being launched at them down the hallways. Uh, but no. Anyway, um. Something, something, dark side. But no. Uh, you know, I had something. It was a thought. I'm pretty sure it was a thought. And now it's gone. It's a terrible thought. But no. Uh, so yeah, last time, of course, we would gotten a couple of guys killed. I've renamed... Well, actually, it was the time before the last time. But anyway, I renamed everyone that re-requested a dwarf to be, you know, brought back to life, as it were. So those that had lost a dwarf and, re, you know, requested it again, have been renamed. Everyone that has requested a dwarf has been named, with the exception of the mages. I still need to unlock the mage guilds and uh, then get them up in there and, you know, transform them with all the uh, lovely magic goodness. And we'll see what happens. Anywho, let's move on along here and continue this madness. Unmute this. There we go. That shouldn't be too bad, actually. Oh, let me go back up again. There we go. That's pretty good. Five is good. All right, let's do this thing. So, a lot of people died. A lot of people need to get their graves assigned to them. And I need to get a bunch of other stuff done. For one, I need to go up to my smith here. My smithy. I suspended a lot of stuff for some reason. Wait, I have another forge, didn't I? Yes, I built another forge. Whoops! Weapons, adamantine. I want to build a whole lot of adamantine. Where the hell are they? I, I bet it's right in front of my face and I'm just being that blind. Oh god, can I not make that one? I thought I could make that one. Unless it's in this thing. Mm-hmm. The only downside is I would lose my ability to have a shield because it is a two-handed weapon. The Halberd. Ah, let me just get the guy a uh, adamantine axe or something right now. Let's give him an adamantine battle axe. Should be fine. I only need the one axe right now. I believe we have enough of the range items. Yep, okay. Resume. Let things progress. We go down to the cave level and we'll see what's going on down here. Things are generally looking good. I want to actually build capital T traps. C cage traps. I may have to build some cages, but... I need more mechanisms if you'll construct it, my friend. And we'll need some cages. So where is my carpenter? A uh, cage. Wooden cage. There we go. I'll make a bunch of wooden cages. Let me create a quick animal stockpile out here. This is where they'll store the cages and any animals that they catch. Also, any animals I buy will also be stored there now. Cannot produce rock mechanism. Insert BS reason here. <laughs> Alright. Go on, my friend. Why are you not super powered yet? Actually, you know what? Let you boys do whatever you want right now. I kind of would like to get you on a schedule, but I should uh, really assign that. Let me disable my friends list here quickly. So I'm not getting that damn pop-up in the corner all the time. Okay. Um, hmm. What are the size of those workshops? It's in furnaces. 
Mm -hmm. School of Wizardry is effing huge. Huge, bro. Huge. All right. Something like that should work. Build E. Ooh, Grievous has created a masterpiece. Good job. Oh, Control Y. Okay, let's see. No, I want this thing to fit precisely, so. Let's cancel that. Okay. Uh, build, furnace, storm, let's see, ember blaze, and all these other ones. Uh, what are they? They're all about the same. Can I fit? No, I cannot fit two of them. Oh, well, it was a thought. I may be able to fit two of them here. Just maybe. Let's see. If I put two of them side by side, they'll fit in here. That's the only way they're going to fit in here. Build E. What is it? Control. Let's just go. No. H. H. That works for me. Okay, so I can lower that down one. Alright. There we go. That'll be their divide. Works for me, I guess. Well, is that more even? Nope. That is perfect for that. Okay. Have at her, boys. Have at her. Get her done for me. I really should spend a lot of my gold getting the rest of these people ready, but what the hell are you doing anyway? No activity. Apparently, I gave the I did not give these guys a life outside of their duty. What do we have here? We have a Slade turret. It's good we have actually we actually do have some cages. Can okay, we go down here quickly? Uh, it's designated to be smooth and taken care of. There we go. We are going to put our Slade turret down here. Because this seems like the place that, you know, requires it more. And the bullet turret as well is going to be moved down here. Alright. Oh! And I completely forgot something I was going to cover. I feel like a foo. So, I had meant to cover this in the beginning. But I did not. That's my fails. That's my fails. There has been a new update. Let me make sure that the only update hasn't actually increased. Because you know MEP, you know, I look away for two seconds and the guy puts out another version. No, it looks like version 3, or, wait, no. Version 5.5. No, that's correct, 5.5, I think. Is what I was looking at. So yeah, version 5.5. So he's changed up how decorations work. Essentially, you can create like patches of grass and then use reactions in it to... I'm assuming a patch of grass is like a 5x5 five five building, essentially. Or something along those lines. And then you can then plant roses in it, plump helmets, and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, but some of the major ones, of course, are the... Uh, they removed a bunch of entries in the biome and land on creatures that have uh, specifications to biome set. 
means you may see many creatures le or you see many creatures less often, but only in their fitting biomes. So they they really you know just cleaning out the code still basically. Let me let this proceed while I'm speaking. Okay, elves no longer bring uh, wagons. They updated picture four to version two. Now that's too crazy. Uh, the major thing that I looked at that kind of intrigued me was, of course, the sieves had a bunch of pets that got changed around. Uh, all sieves now have unique pets and specific pets assigned to them. New scripts allowed to add uh, minions like trolls that accompany goblin sieges, mounts, wagons, stuff like that. Uh, for example, a steam tank wagon pulled by a steam engine wagon pullers could be added to gnomes, or the warlocks could ride into battle on meat wagons. These have not been added, but the options exist now, so that's pretty interesting. So there's specific mounts and pets for all the sieves. Dwarves are generally unchanged as far as I saw. Ah, something really cool actually. The GUI was also updated so that you can uh, specify the default size of your embark to begin with. The embark, the points, and the amount of dwarves you're bringing with you, you can you can use that or edit that in the UI. Unfortunately, I do not have that edited UI, so basically, something like in the bottom right corner here, or no, actually this is the one right here, embark size. So this has been edited, so you can also put in your points and your dwarves. You no longer have to go through DF hack to do that. You can just input it right there, which is pretty nice. Updated the sprites for Nomus Pets, uh, Sucky Bee got some changes. But the interesting one I found was the change that they did to grass. Yes, you heard me, grass. Uh, good grazes, good grasses, bubble bulbs, downy grass, make grazers, this is for feeding animals, uh, make grazers stronger and larger. Uh, they should fight better and leave more meat, which is pretty nice. Uh, evil grasses, shadow thistle and marsh rooms, make grazers go opposed to life. Uh, low chance, but it will happen sooner or later, which is intriguing. Oh, Grievous created another masterpiece, and so did Killum. Wait, what are you doing, Killium? Unit list. Uh, search. Ah, he made a, uh, ooh, very nice. He made a masterwork lavish meal. Where the hell do you go? There he is. Inventory. Uh, it's not on him, though. Let me go into... Thinking, do I actually have... Prepared meals. Enhanced view. I have not really messed with this too much. Here you can see all the different things that we have done here. You can see superior, finely crafted, exceptionally crafted, masterfully crafted. So, looks like he made a masterfully crafted stomach dessert. Times ten, which is kind of funny, actually. Hmm, I want to view this, but I can't. Actions, zoom. Shift Z. Okay. View. Stomach dessert. Prepared food barrel fungi. Yeah, no, that's not what I want to look at. What is this? It's a stack of masterfully cra masterfully prepared stomach dessert created by Killiam. Uh, the ingredients are exceptionally minced fresh heart and exceptionally minced stomach. <laughs> And it's worth 1800 Not bad. Not bad, Killiam. Not bad at all. Oh, yes. So, cave, er, blah, 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 blah. cavern one grasses, moss. Make grazers get any of these. No stun, no pain, no nausea, no fear, no exert, or martial trances. Mixes are possible. Grasses on cavern two. Uh, mineral lichen and crystal growth at a 50% damage resistance to grazers. And cavern grass on floor three. Floor, yes, floor tiles don't do anything at the moment. So, yeah, cavern three is just floor tiles. So, we won't really get nothing from that. But still, grasses were changed. So, that's really intriguing because for those that like having, you know, pet based fortresses, fort, uh, yes, fortresses, blah, 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 uh, this can help with a lot of grazers. I mean, could you imagine having elephants? 
that have that get lost, you know, stronger and larger from good grasses. War elephants, that would be badass, I tells you. Badass. Okay. Do 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 Hmm. I wonder. I'm trying to remember how I do this. Designation. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this, but I cannot, for the life of me, think of a good way to do it. Damn. Basically, another one of my favorite tra- Oh, wait, no, I didn't remember how to do it. Oh, I just remembered. I just remembered how to do it. Ooh, we could do that. We could totally do that. Hmm, should be though. Why not? It'll give us something to do. But first things first, let me make sure I get all this set up here. Oh, we done screwed up, haven't we, son? Sign this tomb. So we can't assign it to our ghosts. Build, no, it's Altas. Built slab, there we go. We haven't carved the slab yet, have we? Still waiting on them to carve it in the name of that guy, I think. Let me verify. Rock blocks. I do not see it. Construct the slab. Should be a craft store's workshop. Yeah, they're an engraved memorial slab. No, I think I'm just gonna go... Use for burial. Because I just now realized... That I uh, screwed that bit up right there. Ooh, I'm not using the super door, no. Okay. Coffins, statues, and doors, please, and thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, we have two, four, six, eight dwarves that need to be buried right now. Let's see, Baytastic. Uh, Razier. Slayer Boy, which I've renamed. Reynolds, I have not renamed you. Earth McSmash has been renamed. You're a random old coot. Oh, old coot. Oh, Yoko, no, you have not been renamed either. Johnny Black, oh, Johnny died. Johnny boy, no. Ah, oh, well. Okay. Not the fish, man. Oh, God, why the fish? Oh, wait, what's going on here? Cockatrice. Oh, Jesus. Let's take a look at this. Oh, jeez. Now I went and clicked that. Yeah, the bulls get his ass kicked. Let's see. A medium-sized bird capable of freezing predators in place with a glance. It is hunted for its blood and feathers, which can petrify anything they touch. It's very fat and enormous overall. Its feathers are black. Its skin is tan. Eyes are red. Actually, yes, let's clear this out. I don't want this here. Uh oh. Bull's getting his ass kicked. 
I set the squad down, but it'll be a minute before they get there. Oh, you idiot! Who are you? Oh, Silver, you idiot! Don't you get killed on your man? Oh, nice! Nice! We caught it! We caught it! We caught the cockatrice. Okay. Now, there's one other thing I planned on doing, and let me do that right now. Mm, yeah, I guess I can set it up right there. Actually, you know what? Because usually I plan on keeping most of this stuff. Actually, in which case, yeah. I will do it like this. Oh, well then, that works for me. Like, where the hell did I just put that stairway? Oh, I guess I didn't. Oh, because it was removed designation. Ah, my bad. My bad. I meant to hit I, actually. Yes, I is what I intended. Up, down, stairway. In which case, I guess I don't even need to do that, do I? Whoops, come on. I'll go like this. And I'll put... There we go. Nope, wrong one. Okay. We'll see if that works. I'll go like that if I have to. I'll floor it in afterwards. Essentially what I'm going to do is... I'm going to hold that out. I'm going to remove all this. I'm going to seal this with a wall. And I'm going to smooth out and fortify this whole thing so we'll have walls we can shoot through. I'll chuck a door right here, and I'll add a burrow here. Any live animals I catch will be pitted into this room. So they'll basically be released up here, and they'll fall down two flights into this room. Might damage them. I kind of doubt it will damage them that much. But that doesn't really matter. The whole point is they're going to then be pelted by my guy's arrows. At least that's the hope. That is the hope. Actually, how are our drinks right now? Drinks are getting quite low. Sorry, I can't do it to you, but no. Damn. Beer production is faltering well, quite badly. Has got an idea. Best Wait, get the dogs why? Out in case he goes mad. Oh, it's been taken by a fey mood. Okay, good. Had it been taken by a, uh, what's it called? Change orientation. Oops, wrong one. Down. There we go. Actually, these armed with anything? Let's see. I'll prepare the fire, even though I don't think any of them are actually going to be prepared. Hmm, let's see if I can build a track here. I didn't think so. Build. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Because somebody had mentioned minecarts. Uh, let me see if I can... It was on the main page. It was over a month ago that somebody had mentioned... Ask, well, had asked me about minecarts and the use of minecarts. And I thought I had responded to them, but I might not have. Just because the damn thing was being a pain in the ass. <laughs> nice. Uh, but yeah, essentially, you can use minecarts to haul stuff between stockpiles. Like, there's two ways to use minecarts, essentially. You can either use them for a trap. There's many, many different traps. Or you can use them to haul goods. Or I suppose you can also use them to transport your dwarves if you wanted to. That could be a good use for them. Let me let them just run while I'm talking. Now, you can essentially run a cart right next to a stockpile. Uh, above, say up above here, I'll have the cart coming in here, 
like along here and then stopping here, creating a station here and then going looping and going back down. Uh, it would take from a stockpile down to the bottom, be pushed by a dwarf, a dwarf up to here, and then dumped into this stockpile kind of thing is one of the one of the things you can do with it essentially. Okay, build workshop or not workshop furnace. Control Y. Okay. Now, which ones do I want to build? We're going to go... The Enlightened Altar of Goody Goodness. I kind of want to put the Dark Altar beside it, but I don't have any Glomp wrong. So, I think I'm going to put the Storm Tempest Altar beside it. Oh, I still need one more to be removed. Alright. Claim the Mason's Workshop. Alright. Have at her, man. Have at her. Uh, build in. Burial Receptacle. Adamantine Sarcophagus. Build Statue. Adamantine Statue. Door. There we go. Get all these adamantine doors in place. Sweet. Okay. So those get placed. Statue. I will place the last adamantine statue I have. And let them run those reactions. They've got a lot of work to do. So that'll keep them busy for a bit. Uh, I think I was going to use the heavy siege works here to create a... Yep. Let me create cast steel ballista bolts. Okay, create a small stockpile over here if I can. I believe ammo is what the ballista bolt is under, if I'm not mistaken. Now they're huge. They are huge. So I'll create a fairly large stockpile. Settings. Type. Doom shards, missiles, hmm, no it's not an ammo, it is not an ammo, what the hell is it under though, ah, furniture slash siege ammo, derp, what the hell does that say, I don't know. I don't know. I'm afraid I'm a blind man, apparently. Mm-hmm. I am a blind man. Whoops. Siege ammo is what I care for. I really don't care what they're made of, what their quality is, as long as it's only siege ammo being put there. Resume. So essentially, I'm going to have two different traps here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, what am I going to use for that, though? Let me try windmills, I guess. I shall probably even put them up there if I can. Ooh, that might work out really well. There's no more fish. No more fish. Let's see. If you can, boys, please extend the walls there for me. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you kindly. They're digging that out now. Ach, I fished all the fish there are. There's no more fish. Then you suck. Stop killing all the fish. Ooh. That's a sign. Sign the cockatrice. <laughs> well, I wanted to sign that dog, but I don't see him here. Which is weird. Hmm, what the hell are you guys designating on anyway? Oh, I see. They're smoothing out that still. It's kind of funny. I want them to get more important stuff done, but they're not doing it. 
And no one's even hauling any of this adamantine stuff, so I'm like, what the hell are you guys doing? There we go, the first of the gigantic bolts is being dragged out now. Let me get, uh, let's see here. Let's get some more wheelbarrows made if we can. And then just more bar uh, barrels, period. Let's see, what the hell, construct... Was it? Ah, make. Okay, so, unit list, manager, queue new order. Make wooden barrel. Uh, let's make 30. There we go. Now, which of these lovely... Ah, there he is. Looks like he's still grabbing what he wants because he hasn't started, you know, screaming at us. I need this! I need this now! <laughs> or something like that, you know. So, he hasn't gone completely batshit crazy yet, so that is a good sign. Used for burial. Used for burial. Used for burial. Thank you kindly. Let's see, we don't got any more adamantines? Nope, not yet. Adamantine doors, adamantine statue, adamantine tomb. That is the way my heroes roll. All the fish are gone. All the fish are gone. I would not want to actually fire Will. I just want them to load the things. Okay, they're all not in use now. What the hell did you drop out here? Cotton fiber trousers. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Old coot has been put to rest. Yay! Sleep well, old coot. Sleep well. Okay. I guess that one was necessary after all. Anyway, I want to remove those guys. Now, how am I going to build this is the question. That is the question we need to have answered. Whatever, they'll remove that for now, and then I'll screw around with it afterwards. Actually, you know what? Let me... Let's clear away some of this junk walls here. Even it up a little bit. You know, we'll even it up completely. Ugh, don't tell the elves that all the fish are gone. I am so telling the elves. Anyway. Yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> they just loaded them all up there. Alright, you can dig this up, boys. Thank you. Let's check this. Yep. Build floor. So what you do... We'll build a floor there. Um, let's see. Let me unactivate the other one. I only keep one of these active at a time. That one's off, so the one active one has got to be you. No, not you. Nope, they're all inactive. Okay. So, DBD. We will dump all this. To the Smashotron 5000. There we go. That'll give them something to do. Once they've done that, and I really wish I could figure out where the hell this guy was storing those bolts. Was he just storing them in here? Where the hell are you storing all those bolts? You know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do, because I'm tired of him actually having this here. I'm going to remove the whole stockpile, and all ammunition, regardless of type, will be dragged over to where it belongs. All the fish are gone.
There we go. Hold it out, boys. Yes, I realize you fished everything out. You don't have to remind me every two fucking minutes. Thank you. I appreciate that you guys are being thorough, but you don't have to be that thorough. Thank you. Okay, there we go. That's all the, that's all the cage traps I'm using. Even that, I wouldn't really want to use all that much. Let me smooth this out first. Okay, up we go. There's still a lot I have to do. Now, with that done, I want to channel the whole thing. This is going to be interesting when I set it up. Now, let me look, take a look around here first and see if I can find tracks. Because I cannot quite remember where the hell they're in. Machine components. Rollers I will need. Axles. Yes. No. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Hmm. Let me look this up, because I'm not 100% sure on this. It has been a very long time since I've actually messed around with these. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Tracks. It's a track! No, I'm kidding. Minecart. Used for hauling. Creating tracks, simple tracks and wraps. DT. Natural stone. BCT. Ah, it's a construction. That's what it is. B, capital C, and then T for track. Capital T. Okay. Now, this is where stuff gets a little more complicated. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. You have to build these correctly. Otherwise, you know, it's not going to work out too well for you. <laughs> okay. East track. Wait, no. But I can put them... I can put that right like this. Made out of... You know what? Why the F not? Uh, you know what? No. Eh, it's so difficult. I kind of want to make it out of adamantine, but no, no, we're going to do limestone. We're going to we're going to make this look a little bit different here. Limestone. Okay. I need east to west. South to east. There we go. Limestone. South to east. Limestone. West track. Out of limestone, west track, limestone, okay, likewise these go here. Alright, now the fun time. Super happy fun time. Actually, wouldn't I use the east west track instead of just east track? Oh. 
It has been a long time since I've messed with this, so apologies if I really screw this up. stop. No. Departure conditions don't matter if I'm understanding this correctly. Hmm. Roller, power machine, the automated propulsion of minecarts, require a mechanic, mechanism, and a rope. Okay. I am going to remove these and assume that east-west tracks will work. For all this. So back, build, capital C, capital T, east-west. Hopefully, this will work. Honestly, the main thing that matters will be how I designate my rollers and their direction. I hope. I hope. I really do hope. Because it has been a long time since I've screwed with this, so we'll see how this goes. Essentially, what I am making here is a trap. It's a type of minecart trap. I'm going to build bladed minecarts, which will be zipping on both of these lines and then doing a loop back around and rinse and repeating. And I'm going to use two rollers going in opposite directions to stop them and hold them in place. They're going to be bouncy between that. Which means I'll just have to use one, tr uh, one per track then, maybe. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll have to use like one cart per track. It'll be fine. They'll be zipping down like all over the damn place here like crazy, so it should be fine. North south. Limestone. Limestone. Come on, limestone. Alright, so this is gonna be a long and intensive project. And I should probably skip this and do it afterwards. Yeah, that's what I'm probably going to do. I'm going to focus on other things right now. For now. And then I'm going to finish this track. Well, if I do that, some bad crazy shit could happen and then we'd miss everything. So, uh, I'll just do it then. Just because I wouldn't want you guys, you know, missing me dying horribly or something hap something bad happening while I was designing this. I have it designed now, I know what I'm doing, it's just the building it that's gonna be a slight pain in the ass. There we go. I swear to God, I'm so tempted just to use adamantium just because it's what's constantly bloody selected. Now it's reversed. Limestone. Limestone. Whoops, almost did wood logs. That would have been unfortunate. Okay, now I need southwest tracks for the whole thing here. Uh, I'll loop it there. I'll loop it there and call it because I don't want to make this too, too long. I could bring it all the way to the end. But for now, I don't think I will. I can extend it later if you guys want me to. I will really see what happens for that. Limestone. Limestone. North-south. All the way, baby. Okay. 
Um, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to cut it off right here. I'm going to cut this baby off right here. I was going to take it over to the edge here, but no, I'll cut it off right here. Well, you know what? If I do that, I'm sure that the, uh, you know, the lovely viewers that like their uh, symmetry will be pulling out their hairs as a tour at me. So, no, I will extend this over to where it belongs. Build, capital C, capital T, north, south. Limestone. I'll at least make, I'll at least go for symmetry. At the very least, I'm going to go for some symmetry here, because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to get anyone biting my balls off as to where. <laughs> uh, for being like, oh, are you, why are you not making, oh, no, don't stop it there. Symmetry! Symmetry! You know. Alright, limestone, and there we go. Now I need east-west track of destruction. Limestone, east-west track, limestone, east-west track, oh wait, what the hell was all the limestone? The fuck? There it is. It's even trying to hide even more so now, damn limestone, tricky little bastard. Just getting further and further away. Alright. There we go, limestone. And now I want this guy out of limestone. And again, oh man, this music's the same exact same tone that's used in Kerbal Space Program, and I absolutely effing love it. Although it fits Kerbal Space Program better than it does Dwarf Fortress almost, because it definitely has that space feel to it. Okay, now this is basically set up completely the way I want it, with the exception that I'm going to need a whole lot of mechanisms and a whole lot of rollers. To the point of... Q new order. Construct mechanisms, 30. We're going to need at least that many. The only problem is I also need ropes, and that's going to be a little more difficult to acquire. Grievous has created a masterpiece. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now. There we go. Okay, let me go upstairs. Just wait. I want to even that out a bit here. I for up downstairs. And then finally downstairs. Which is the wrong button. Whoopsies. Okay. Now, I'm going to have windmills actually power, and it's something I very rarely use. Okay. Build capital C. Capital T. Okay. I need a ramp going east and west. Out of, you know what, make it out of mad time, because why the hell not at this point, you know what? There you go, boys, have at her. Have at her, boys. So essentially what's going to happen is each one of these tracks, the whole thing basically, except for a small section down here, is going to have rollers on it. Now, rollers 
you have two two forms, uh, or I should say three forms of movement for carts. Rollers are one, which are powered and cause it to just get a certain speed, depending on what you set for the uh, rollers here. And I want them on every single track here, which is, you know, some people might say that's a waste of, you know, a whole lot of resources. But the reason I want it on every single track is because if it stops when it hits something, because eventually it's going to hit something, that's the whole point of this. If it stops on a non-roller track, then it will stop dead and something else will have to come along and push it to continue it on. But if they're all the rollers are everywhere through the whole thing, it will constantly push. Even if it hits something, it'll still keep going afterwards. Like immediately afterwards. That's what the whole, you know, point with the setup is. It's a bit long, so it's going to cost me a lot. I could have just ended it right here and then looped it back around, but I doubled it up a little bit, as it were, to give it that extra range. I'm only going to have two carts running this whole gauntlet and then coming back. I could set up more potentially, but the way I plan on... I don't know how the carts would react to each other, essentially, is what I'm getting at here. Because how I'm going to operate the brakes. Uh, let me see if I can show this here. So we'll have we'll have the tracks coming down here. They will split up a little bit. They're right beside each other. Then they're going to kind of split up. I'll probably do it like this. So we'll have one set of tracks here going one direction. And one set of tracks here going the other direction. Kind of like this. So that's going to... Well, obviously this is off-centered, but whatever. Who gives a crap? I'm not... You know, I'll fix... Well, no. You know, again, symmetry. Symmetry. So, uh, it's going to be like this. Now, I don't really know too well about how carts interact. And it's going to loop around. Uh, we'll have... These will just be... I'm going to say just blank. Let me use this for that, for example, for that. So this will be non-rollered tracks right here. Um, upward ramp is capital R. Oh, wait, nope. Uh, the power will be hooked up right here and right here, so that it powers the entire track system. As well as, I'm going to have... Mm, how am I going to do that, actually? It's going to be difficult to do it. It's going to be definitely difficult to do it. I'll just have to power the whole thing. Okay. Sorry, this is, again, design and not actually getting too much done. This is a bit big, so I'm about to adjust it. I could do multiple tracks, uh, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, regardless, this track is going to be facing backwards here. So that's why I'm trying to figure out a way I can enable this while not affecting the rest of it. Her. That's going to be the difficult part because the only way I could do that was if I had another set of this stopped right here. Then I could separate it and have power here to shut that off when I need to. And this will just continue the whole way. So that way the whole this whole track would be powered. And then it would stop here and force it back towards this direction. That way I'd keep bouncing it kind of back and forth. So if I put multiple carts, say I have like, you know, six carts per se. Let's say the carts end right here. So I know it's a little bit too much. So yeah, here we go. Six carts. The front carts would be getting pushed forward by the rollers. Hitting this, pushing back. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. They'll just be constantly knocking. That's what I'm thinking. How are they going to interact with each other with that? Are they just going to keep keep pushing, pushing, pushing each other? And when I finally do deactivate this to allow the trap to continue, are they going to shoot forward? So this is going to be a test for me as much as it is for you guys as well, you know? Because I have not really screwed around with this kind of thing that much. So, we can go like this. So, I can kind of judge now for the length of this thing. Actually, no, I can still move this forward some, so yeah. Anyway, that's essentially how we're going to do this. That is essentially what it's going to be like. 
I could use stations, but no, I'm just gonna use this kind of a system and hope it works and doesn't cause them to just, you know, destroy each other. Mandating certain goods. So what can I make bladed minecart carts in, I wonder? Maybe the forge here. Let me go other objects, adamantium. Yep. Track trap. Spike track trap. Yep. Bladed minecarts. I want six adamantine bladed minecarts. Thank you very much. And what does he want? Doors or something, I bet. Yep, he wants a single door made. Oh, that pesky bastard. What do you need? Works furiously. Okay, so he's got what he needs. He's got exactly what he needs, and he's just doing his job now. Okay, so that explanation took quite a while. But essentially, that's how it works. And I've used this kind of system before. A while back, though. And it seems like it works really well. He made a quern. A cow line quern. Uh, okay. Build a workshop. I guess I could build a quern. If I wanted to, I suppose I could build a quern. Now that he went and built that damn thing. Capital cube. I need four non-economic statues, apparently. Weird. But, okay, what do we got in here? Yeah, old coot. Everyone's being put in their graves. Oops, S. Statue. God damn it, you need to get off your ass, whoever's doing this job, man. Well, at least on the positive side, that guy now has... Who is it, actually? General. He's a great mason now. Thalbum. Congratulations, good sir. You are now pro... Have at her, man. Alright, so we're doing pretty good for that. We've set aside a bunch of trees and everything. They will get to work building these. It'll take a while. It'll take a long while for them to get that done. It's going to be lot, they need a lot of guys in the masonry here soon. Now, build. Capital M. Capital M. Or just not capital M, just M, it looks like. Okay. I really don't know how much it's going to need, so I'll build three of them for now and see how much power that generates. And then we'll see about the rest. Okay. More than likely, actually. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Resume. More than likely, I'll have it go down one way or the other there. Okay. Alright, so that's all kind of set up. Archers. Oh, God. The Forgotten Beast. Uh, how was it? Mothy Hicksroda has come. A gigantic feathered... Iguanodont? Iguanodont what? It has a pair of fan-like antennae, and it is has a bloated body. It's... Poose feathers are downy. Beware its fire. Okay. Let's see exactly what the hell we're fighting here. Uh, oh god. We're fighting what is essentially almost a... Interesting. Interesting indeed. I'm just going to find a better quality picture of this thing. No, it's still kind of crappy. Okay, this one looks pretty badass. So, essentially, this is what we are fighting. There's a couple images of this horrible creature we are fighting. So, yeah. Interesting. It's pretty much a dinosaur. Question is, did I hook this up? Let's see, mountain bridge. Cave wall bridge, but 
I did not. Okay. Bride. The cave entrance bride. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so... Get on down here, boys. I don't know if that bastard can swim. No. Actually, you know what? Yeah, they still have to dig out that whole stuff, though. I'll leave them to it, but... Oh, I kind of want to... Wait, why... Did you do that? Building blocking site. You should have moved it. Anyway. I can't do it. No, I, I can't, can't do it. Oh, you stupid damn shits. You know what? This is the only way to fix that damn error when that happens. You have to remove it, build works or not build furnace. Actually, let me check something quickly. DBD. C. Okay, it's already claimed, so build B E Build Furnace and it was the Enlightened Altar. And I believe the other one was the Storm Tempest Altar. Yep. Okay, let's see that thing. There it is. Oh god, it can swim! It can swim! Okay, my boys are here, boy. Though, my boys are here. Really? Did you just get... Oh, no, he's loading cage trap. I'm like, did you just get yourself killed, man? Okay, they're all kind of here. Let's see if you guys are actually using your equipment properly. They have an adamantine crossbow. They have some items. But, the question is... They have no ammo in their crossbow and their quivers. I am not surprised by this at all. Ranged doesn't even have his bow. God damn you guys. Right there, just kind of sitting there. You know what? Let's go on the other side then. Okay, boys. Since the other guys, since the crossbow guys are basically useless, they can just go away. They're not equipping. I, that's why I hate ranged infantry with a passion. They're such a pain in the ass to set up. Such an absolute pain in the ass to set up. And then they never... You never really get enough bang for your buck. For all the damn effort you put into it, they never just... They never seem to perform as well as you would like them to. Come at me, Iguana bro! He's just kind of lurking down here. He's not really doing much. The hell are you doing, buddy? I mean, we have all my crew here. Oh, there we go. It's finally attacking. Move out, boys. Oh, shit. You picked the wrong spot, son. The one might burn. Little bastard, Iguana, is shooting freaking fireballs at him from the comfort of its damn watery nest. I mean, my guy has shields, so hopefully that'll protect him. I 
And one of them managed to get to the water, so I should be fine. Get out of the water, you bloody coward. Okay, boys. Go get him. Oh, he killed him, didn't he? Eric. You. Fuck him up, boys. Fuck him up. For vengeance! But if all of you jump into the fire and die, I swear to God. Your names will be stricken from the list of dwarfdom. Stricken, I say. There we go. Oh, you little bastard. Where are you? Get him! Finally, shit's hitting the fan here. Finally, we get a damn chance. The military commander whirls around and slashes the Forgotten Beast in the right foot with the sharp blade of the adamantine longsword. Tearing apart the muscle, it's lodged in the wound. The beast falls over, but manages to breathe some fire. The commander twists it around in his uh, right foot, uh, then whirls around and slashes him in the right hand with the sharp blade of his adamantine longsword. Severed part sails off in an arc, so the entire left hand is just gone. Right, or not left hand, right hand is gone. Uh, and then whirls around once again, slashes the... what is it? And slashes in the tail, so he severs off his, with the hone blade of the adamantine longsword, severing the tail off. So, the military commander is an absolute boss, just severed off its hand, severed off its tail, it's like, screw you, freaking fire breath, I'm chopping you to bits. Uh, the spear, spear dwarf impales the forgotten beast in the head from behind with his volcanic helmet. So while the military commander is just l swiping off limbs here, uh, the spear dwarf, I believe, who is it that has the... That had the, uh, halberd. Let me see here. Who asked for a spear? Jonathan, I think it is. No, Jonathan's dead. Jonathan is dead, so... Oh, whatever. Maybe Elliot. I don't know. Someone has it. I'll find out afterwards. Either way, so while he's doing that, he sneaks up behind, leaps up, and just kind of impales this thing in the back of his head with the volcanic halberd. Tendon has been uh, chipping the upper spine's bone. Tendon has been torn. Spine has been torn. Upper spine has been torn. Military commander once again sidesteps and uh, swipes him in the upper body with the sword. Tearing apart the muscle, tearing apart the heart, opening up a major artery, and the heart has been opened. So he just like slashed it right open there. Speardorf once again uh, slashes him in the upper body, right after the commander, just like double teaming him in the chest. Uh, tearing apart the muscle, tearing open another artery. Forgotten Beast somehow manages to still breathe fire by, pardon me, some miracle. Military commander responds by sidestepping and slash slashing him in the upper body again. Uh, with the long sword, tearing apart muscle, shattering left false rib. Artery has been torn, false rib has been torn, and tendon has been torn. Spear Dwarf makes a face to distract the enemy and then punches the Forgotten Beast in the left lower arm with his left hand. He's just getting ballsy now. Military Commander jabs the Forgotten Beast in the left eyelid from behind. That is some skill right there. Like, you would have to, like, leap up on its back with your sword kind of pointed towards it, almost towards you, and then jab it in its eye almost. But the attack, like, glanced away, actually, surprisingly. Is this thing still alive, though, and kicking? Okay, let's see the final, final battle here. So, there's the eye, bruising the muscle. Okay, eyelid. Ah, there you go. Spear Dwarf blocks and hits Forgotten Beast in the tongue with his right hand, bruising the muscle. So, he must have lost, he must have lost his grip somehow of his weapon. Uh, military Commander whirls around with outstretched arms and slashes the Forgotten Beast in the left lower leg from behind with the home blade of the Adamantine Longsword. Severed part sails off in an arc. So, that's a hand... Its tail and its entire left leg just got severed off. Well, not its entire left leg, but its lower part of the left leg got severed straight off. And then finally stabs the Forgotten Beast in the head from behind. 
for the finale. Tearing apart the muscle, tearing apart the brain. An adamantine longsword. Let me actually look at the combat report. So that was, let's see. That was man to man that did most of that, all the severing. So, man to man, you may be proud, sir. You have served your people well. Yeah, there's his right hand. Ha <laughs> uh, Let's see here. Oh, unfortunately, looks like we lost another one. We, yeah, we lost another one. I don't know who it is, too. They must have took it with them. So we have lost two dwarves in this fight, though, against this Forgotten Beast. If it wasn't for the fire, we wouldn't have died as, as badly. But because of some dwarves' lack of a shield, exactly as I said would happen, they died. Still, though, boys, you did a good job. Let's see. Yeah, we did lose at least one of one dwarf in each squad. That sucks. Slayer boy. Oh, Slayer boy. No, I hope you didn't die. Yeah, Slayer boy has been miss has been found dead. Oh, Slayer boy. That's the second time, man. Oh, uh, why won't you live? Why won't you live? I'm sorry, Slayer Boy. Apparently, you are destined to be to die in greatness, as it were. It seems. Zans. Oh, Zans. Zans was the other one that died. So we had Zans, Slayer Boy, and Eric. I think died as well. That is unfortunate. And who's this that's heavily injured? Jonathan. Jonathan is just unhappy. Okay, so that was a nice battle against that horrific, di fire-breathing dinosaur bastard. You see, some of the tracks have now been completed. Build capital C, capital T. Ramp east west. Limestone, please. All right. And the rest of this mechanism, I think I'm gonna screw around with and figure out next time. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna force this whole thing right now. All right. So let's see how much power this stuff's producing. 40, 40, and 40. Oh, yeah, it's 40 total. Anyway, uh, build. Do, 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 do. I'm like, how do I want to do this? How can I do this? Capital M. We built one. Let's see if that powers. If it's east west and it still powers it by being beside it, no then it works for me. If it doesn't, then I have to do a northwest one on each one of these, possibly then followed by an east west. Or I might need a gear assembly between them. We'll have to see what happens. Okay, I need mechanics for that. And my mechanics are probably busy building mechanisms. <laughs> okay, so for the most part, though, we did well. Other than the fact that a couple of the guys, I guess, didn't have shields and were not protected by the fire. Because that beast never got any attack out that was not a fire-based attack. So, Eric, oh, Eric's been missing for a week. Nautilus! Oh, Nautilus, no! Oh, we've lost so many! We lost so many! Oh. Silver's sad now. Silver is sad now. We lost so many of our best guys. You know what? Screw it. Just get the freaking coffins in here. We need our dwarves buried, like, now. And I'm tired of the slack we got going on here, man. I'm tired of the slack. Alright. God knows I had this thing sitting right here and he should be grabbing the right stuff. Unless they hauled some bad crap there. 
which they might have. But yeah, I need a, I need rope and a mechanism for every single roller I put down. So that means I need like 50 ropes, which is a little ridiculous. Oh, you absolute bitch. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare. Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much right now. Oh. Hey, at least now I can prepare for that thing properly and make sure everyone gets shields. So, hey, guess what? You're all maybe not dead. Yay! And we probably lost all that fucking progress for the tracks and all Ah, uh, damn you, bugs. Damn you to hell! Alright, let's see how fucked we are. Let's see how fucked we are. Quite a bit, I'm sure. I am pissed, though, that happened. I am absolutely pissed. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Fuck my life. <laughs> Everything has been reset. We're essentially back to square fucking one. Oh, 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 this is unfortunate. This is un very, very unfortunate. Mm, I may or may not be very, very pissed off right now. So yeah, essentially we have just completely lost all of our progress. Yeah. So yeah, back to square one. Yay! So... I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do. I might just, uh, at this point, I think I might just live stream an hour of this. And then save it at some point. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it. But I'm guessing that's probably what I'm going to do now. Because that is some seriously grade A... Bullshit. On the positive, hey, you're all still alive. On the not so positive, hey, I have to rename everybody again. Lovely. So everyone that I named, Dragonfire, Erst, all of them are now gone. All gone. All gone. So much rage. So much rage mode. Oh, I'm so ticked by that. And especially not just by that, but the fact that all of those tracks that I did, the 20 minutes I spent laying out those tracks, is now gone. Not to mention everything else. Ah, oh, I hate it when that happens so much. I remember there was a point where it would create a backup save when it crashed so you would be fine. But it's been a very long time since it's done that. And I'm, I'm so pissed. I am so, so sad and so pissed. Oh, why? Ugh. Anyway, well, at least I got a chance now to recover from that. I guess since the tracks thing failed at this point, I'm not going to reconstruct it. You know, you guys got the concept. You got the idea. You understand how it works, I hope. I didn't get to put it into practice, which kind of sucks. Essentially, all I would have done is I would have, you know, hooked up the power to the rails and it would have just operated the whole thing. The rails would have been on constantly. Uh, I would have toggled the one rail, which would have been going in reverse to stop the carts. When I needed to stop the carts. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. So I won't be using that trap again. I'll just have to alter things a little bit and see what we can get up to. God knows we'll even get the same. I'm pretty sure we're still going to get a Forgotten Beast. It might not be the same Forgotten Beast. But come hell or high water, I am swapping out that thing. We are all getting shields. Everyone is having a shield. I am not risking fire again. The problem is, though, I think it only affects 
like actual dragon fire fire well like the fire burst that it puts out it doesn't affect ground fire like brush fire brush fire if it starts you're pretty much dead if anything is caught in a brush fire it's dead so I gotta be I gotta be really cautious with that I gotta lure him into an area that does not have any of that anyway thank you for watching hopefully y'all enjoyed sucks what happened nothing we can do about it so we'll just have to figure it out from here move on and we'll see what happens for next time thank you for watching have yourselves a fabulous evening morning afternoon whatever it happens to be and i will see you all another time silver dragon out peace